Hello everybody. I am here to do some work on my elephant journal. Um, and just to recap, <clears throat> if you haven't seen the first one, um, this is part of a playlist and you can go see how I made this cover. Um, it is going to be an elephant themed journal as I'm using my friend Took from Took's Crafts Table. Uh, she did a beautiful elephant kit, which is linked below um, in her Etsy. And I have three signatures that I think are just about all set, but I'm not sewing them in yet. But I did reprint a couple of the pages because I had originally been impatient. And we know how that goes. And um, I printed them just on copy paper. And I went back and I reprinted them on um, Epson matte presentation paper. Um, and this is the box. A premium presentation paper. It is, I don't see a GSM. Oh, it's 40, it's 165 GSM or 44 pound. And um, it just does, it's very nice paper. It's a very nice weight. My only complaint about this paper is I have a devil of a time figuring out which is the coated side and the one you're supposed to print on versus the not coated side. I, I have, it's, struggle. it's a struggle. I just wish they would like put some kind of, I don't know, watermark or, or I don't know, uh, like a dot in the corner or it's just something to show me that, <laughs> what's that? Anyway, I don't know, or, or just make it a more obvious difference. In any case, I've reprinted the pages. I've printed them double-sided and they just are beautiful. So I put some stuff on the back. So I have, there's that one in that signature. And I also had, I did, um, there's, there's three kind of groups. One is the, are these elephant ones. Then there are these kind of journaly pages ones, and then there are backgrounds. So I just kind of did a mix and match double-sided printing for, look at how beautiful that is. Just such deep, rich, saturated images. Um, so yeah, so I kind of mixed and matched them. So in each journal, in each signature, um, you generally don't have any repeats of the pages. There's one that I did, but I'll show you that in a second and I'm fine with it. So that's the first signature. This second signature I think has the repeat because it's the monkey, you <laughs> did the love of monkey face and the baby elephant. And so yeah, so I accidentally did two of those, but I think that's great because they're both, you know, writing spots. So we've got that writing spot, then on the back of this monkey, I've got a background and then I have this. Oh gosh, I've... Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Springtime in New England. Look at the cute little hedgehog. Background. And there's a monkey. And then the center of this one are more beautiful elephants. Um, and then this last signature is... A doggy and some fl oh, these are ibises. I think those are scarlet ibis, and I think these are egrets or storks or something. And there's the doggy and the chickens. And then on this one, oh wait, here's here's one. <laughs> the puppy. <laughs> these are just I just these are so fun and whimsical and sweet and lighthearted. I just adore them. This is one of the backgrounds. And then the center of this is the zebra and the African elephants. It's just such a gorgeous, bold, dramatic image. I love it. There's a cheetah. And then these are the backsides of those other images that you just saw. So yes, oh, babies, look at their fuzzy little heads. Oh, I need to go. Someday I'm going to go to an elephant sanctuary and I'm going to cuddle with a baby elephant. Oh, that would make me so happy. Okay, so we may get to work on these, but because I want to do trims and things, and before I sew them in to the book, I think I'm going to want to sew things along the edges and such. But I'm going to put these to the side. And what I actually really want to do is I want to work on this, this cover. So I have pulled out 
I got these. I got these. These are Aileen's brand. These, they're like, it's a mix and match sample of different fabric type glues. Um, and I have never used these before, so I thought this might be a good opportunity to use them. Um, because I had originally said I was going to use this image, which I love. Love, love, love. But it's not bright enough. And then I realized I have this. I mean, this is just so bright and cheerful. And I think I want to put it on like this so that I can all cut this edge off here and I can reuse that. And then I will cut it um, along the edge here. I think I decided I could cut the this embroidered flower off and save it for another project as well because this would be a shame. Yeah, I can do this and then I can put some trim along here and instead of that elephant image, I thought I might reuse the, these ribbons that I used on the spine because the colors work. And then I have all these kinds of trims and edging and florals and pom-poms and eyelash and gold things. I have drippy, drippy danglies in kind of glass beads. I have drippy danglies in colorful how fun is that? And the colors are perfect for that one. I have drippy dangly tassely things that also work well. I have uh, tiny tassels. Um, I have these fabulous tassels, but I think I'm going to save these and use these for, um, a pa for paper clips. And then I have this bin as well with all my leafy things. Um, and I have to show you this. I have this one and I have this one, which all work really well with the colors and the theme of color. So, okay. So this is the scary part. I think I'm going to cut this piece to fit. I think I actually might use my, my ruler and my rotary cutting blade which is nerve-wracking, but I'm going to do it. So here I have a metal ruler. I'm going to get this lined up on my mat. I'm going to cut just below that line um, because I can use that again. So um, I know I'm going to get the question where I got this stuff from. I have just collected it. I have bought it from sellers on eBay. I have bought it from sellers on Etsy. I think this is from Joanne Fabrics. Um, I have some of, I've done some live sales. I got a whole bunch of these kinds of trims from Jessica Rapp at Two Silver Oranges when she did a live auction sale at one point. Um, you know, I've just been, when I see something because I did have done a Bohemian journal before and some Asian themed journals before where they have come in handy. Sorry, focusing. <laughs> Apparently I can't talk and cut at the same time. So there's a gorgeous piece that I can use in the future. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to double check my thinking. I'm thinking I can preserve that flower because I can't fit both the flower and this ribbon trim on at the same time. Maybe I should decide what do I want? Do I want the marching elephants and the flower? And then maybe something, well, let's, let's consider this. Maybe that will work. Maybe I cut off the edge and I glue this down. I want to cover up that medallion in the middle. 
so maybe I put that there and maybe I put um and do like a collage a little bit of a a ribbon fabric collage on this and then I'll have a dangly you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go for it <coughs> excuse me um so if you're yelling at me going no don't do it sorry 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 this is what this is my my decision this is what I'm doing I like the idea of preserving this piece as a piece and preserving this piece as a piece. Because, you know, this is, this is one of a kind. I'm never going to get this again. Okay, I just want to make sure it is straight. I am going, it's going to be very hard to get around that little bit of embroidery. I'm either going to have to sacrifice this stitching or that stitching. I think I'm going to sacrifice that stitching. Okay, ready? Here we go. Et voila. Okay, now, do I think I should... Maybe I could... Just, I'm going to put a little bit of, so of Fabri-Tac right along that edge right now before it all unravels. Because this glue dries super quick. And I don't know those well enough, but I know my Fabri-Tac. I know what to expect from it. Okay. So let's bring my cover back in here. See what we've done. like it I do I even like that it's kind of hanging over the edge a little bit I think do I want to do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna leave it like that okay and I want this elephant to cover that medallion maybe I can offset that elephant and use this elephant the elephants are marching. And then I really loved these flowers. But which ones do I want? That's a half a purple. Okay, maybe I'm going to cut this here. And then like that. And then I want one of these. We've got these purple and blue. Do you want to cover the elephant? And maybe that purple goes there. And am I going to want a word? So I'm going to, I can do a word up here. There's a spot there that looks like it could have an, the word elephants somehow. Okay. Oh, closure. I need to be thinking closure. And so I might want to move all, everything back a bit. And I could have this hanging on to the the side there yeah a little look like the elephant's wearing the flower on her head move that there move this here and then i still have room there for a closure um how i i was thinking of using this as a closure and i was thinking that i would this is sorry silk but look it has it has embroidery on it it's got purple and gold embroidery isn't that fabulous so i had been thinking i would cut a hole 
maybe I won't cut a hole. Maybe I'll just glue it to the inside of the cover and then I'll have a pocket or something hiding it. Because I also want to do trim. And if I put the hole in it, that might get in the way, unless I do the trim on the inside of the cover, that's a possibility too. All right, but in any case, if I leave a spot there, it will be okay. I might put this under, just like that, and then put this under. No, I'm not putting that under. I'm putting that, like she's wearing it on her head. Yeah, because I also like it because it ties this in. I have more of this little, this little um, tassel. Do I want to add in this little same little tassel that I had on the spine? I'm gonna cut a piece. I'm gonna experiment here. Do I want to tie in the spine? <clears throat> that would kind of be where my closure is. I could do that. And then did I want to have tassels? Like this. Again, that's going to kind of interfere with uh, a, a whole closure, but that's okay because I can just glue that sorry silk to the inside cover and then cover it with a pocket and it will still work as a closure. I really like this. And then this actually could might not need be needed oh but that works like that so we have tassels going that way mm, i like it i like that and it ties into the stuff that we have on the spine like that it ties some of the colors in this anchors it okay so this is what i'm doing all right let me cut a piece of this uh, it ends at a tassel. Let's see if I can do a nice, neat little. Okay, and I'm going to do that same thing. Where's my glue? It's hiding. And I think I'm going to put some um, of this tassely stuff on the back cover as well. <clears throat> but I'll do the other kind on the back cover. So this is going to be a drippy, luxurious, sensuous celebration of elephants. Okay, so I'm going to carefully move this and I'm going to put this on first. You know what, I'm, I'm, not, tr I'm not experimenting with the fabric glues today. <laughs> nope, I'm not, I'm not brave enough. Not brave enough. All right, just want this to, there we go, like that. So I'm gonna, am I, am I gonna, what am I gonna? Am I gonna do that first and then, or am I gonna, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, 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 gonna glue the um, trim right to the cover because I think, it needs to be super sturdy. I'm being super generous with that glue because that trim is indeed heavy. And maybe I will put some glue on the end here as well. So how is everyone? Today is Friday. Um, it is the last 
kind of the last day of my April break from work and my daughter just left. She does, is an undergraduate biology student and in college and she got invited to present her undergraduate research with the, her co-workers in her lab at a national conference. So we're very impressed and proud of her. And so she has just gone left to go. Um, they're all gonna pile, she drove to school, they're gonna pile into a school van and they are going to drive to the conference and stay in a hotel. And so she's with her friends and I'm just very, very excited for her. Okay, so I think, how are we going to do this? <clears throat> I wonder if any of these permanent fabric adhesive, <clears throat> fabric fusion, flexible, stretchable fabric glue, no sew fabric. Okay, this is temporary. So we don't want the temporary. Jewel it. I'm not going to use that. And this says, okay to wash. Permanent fabric bond, permanent fabric bond, permanent fabric adhesive. All right, so I think I'm gonna try this permanent fabric adhesive. <coughs> Looks like I have to sniff off the top. Yep. So I'm going to lift this whole thing. And then I'm going to Oh, it's, look, it's clear. I was not expecting that. No smell. There's my little hair. I'm going to do a, do a spread of the glue so it's not all, like, lumpy bumpy. Get right up there. Oh, it's drying quickly. And I'm going to bring this back in. <clears throat> and lay it down. See how this goes. Fairly well, I think. All right. Well, I like how that worked. stray fibers but I think I think this will also stabilize the embroidery on the fabric okay so now let us make sure that we have these things where we want them okay <clears throat> so this this actually does need some stabilization these are just samples, but so there's not a lot in here. Ooh, ooh. Get those edges, those cut edges. Okay. I'm going to go right up to the edge there so that I wind up covering the medallion, but not the flower. All right, I'm okay. <laughs> I just rubbed it all over my hands. That was not a bright move, Jessica. Let's see what happens. Does I, oh, oh, that's weird. It didn't really ball up. Oh, okay, it's kind of balling up. All right, <clears throat> and now this one. Definitely want to get that leading edge. It's a tiny little bottle. I'll say though that it does not have a as stinky a um, an odor as the fabric tack. 
So this is Aileen's Fabric Fusion. This is not sponsored. I, not sponsored. I'll take any sponsor who wants to sponsor me, but <laughs> uh, moment, no sponsors. Um, I just am experimenting for my own uh, curiosity. Okay. So then we have our beautiful embroidered ribbon here. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. I'm getting this glue everywhere. <clears throat> Come on. Mm. Almost out. It's got, I've got, well, I won't. <laughs> I'm supposed to say something well, that I shouldn't. I edited. I'm always proud of myself when I edit. Okay. Uh, oh, I could do it this way. I, I know I have it the other way. But I'm happy with that. And then this one was like this. Or was it like this? I think it was like that. And then this can be like this. It's not, I know it's not exactly the same. I know. I know it's not exactly the same. Guess what? It's all right. It's part of the process. You can't always do what you were supposed to do. There we go. That goes like that. And then let's see if I can get any more onto this purple flower. There we go. Oh, mess. Messy, messy, messy. Messy, messy, messy. Like that. <clears throat> And then this blue flower, she is going to wear like a headdress. Is she? Or is she going to wear it like this? She's going to wear it like that. <clears throat> I feel like I want something down here. Oops, that's up where it should not be up. Okay. I think this is water-based, which is kind of nice for a fabric glue. Okay, that goes down there like that. <clears throat> And then I'm going to re-glue this because it is coming up. Luckily, I had some on my fingers. <laughs> but I also I feel like I need something right here. Um, I could do another one of these. I could do a pink. I've got a pink. And I could go there. Uh, oh, what else have I got? I've got these cute little things. Should I go across like that? I kind of like that. I'm doing that. And it's purple and blue. Do I want to add yellow? Let's see what happens if I add yellow. And blue. It's only got room for purple and blue. And that is going to go like that. Okay, last of this. Getting the petals.
like that or do I go right below go right below feels more stable there okay so that is my cover I can do a word up at the top I could do a word here at the bottom I could do some kind of a but I don't want to cover up the elephants so I'm not going to do that I need a little glue underneath that petal because it is just wanting to pop right back up there Okay, we are going to let that dry, and then I will put some of the um, the dangles on the back cover, and we'll start working on the um, the embellishments, the fabricy ribbony embellishments of the um, signatures. So, thanks so much for joining me. Um, if you could, thanks for sticking around this long. But if you could, please click like. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. I so appreciate it as I try to build my channel. And I hope you all have a great day and stay safe. Bye-bye.